Oh, I just noticed I forgot to turn on my other light. Hopefully you can see me better like this. Here we are for another proposal review. If you haven't seen it yet, I have a full on playlist of proposal reviews like this one. I'll have it linked in whichever corner it is. I never know. But yeah, let's read this one that we got in that says, hello, my name is, I'm totally gonna butcher this, Lachman Pindaria. Please forgive me. And I am a freelance web scraper. I specialize in retrieving data from websites and and organizing it into structured data sets. First thing, let's go paragraph by paragraph. Your name is in all caps. I just, I don't know why. Is your name like written in all caps? If not, write it normally. In fact, don't write it at all because the client, once they see your proposal, and I'll try to show on the screen how it shows up on the client's end, but when they see your proposal, they do see your name. So you don't have to introduce yourself. Your first sentence of your cover letter, your proposal, is prime real estate. You don't want to waste that space with anything that will not be relevant and will not make the client want to read the rest. Try as much as possible to put yourself in the client's shoes. If you were this client and you were hiring for whatever problem they're looking to solve here, what would you like to see? Like, what's the end result that you want to get? I, I don't understand a lot about data scraping and data stuff, but I guess if you say organizing it into structured data sets, you could say something along the lines of, I'll make sense of all your data or I'll make all your data readable and understandable, anything like that. Like tell them what they get by hiring you. But enough of that. Then you say, I am submitting my bid in response to your request for website scraping in a Google Sheet format. Again, what I read just here is not needed. What you had in the previous paragraph, by the way, going back a little bit, was good. Like this, I specialize in retrieving data, na 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 na. That part I would put right after your hook. But the, I am submitting my bid, like they know you're submitting your bid. So cut this off. And then you say, I am confident that I can deliver this project for you in an efficient and professional manner. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure I've written this like a million times in proposals in my earlier days. But now that I've grown as a freelancer, definitely not in height, I don't think that's necessary. Once you start getting reputation on Upwork, and I will assume that you don't have previous clients, or if you do, you maybe don't have a lot of reviews, but once you start doing that, you'll get the street cred, if you will. You'll get the reviews that speak to your character. In the meantime, what I would do is I would reach out to people who you've worked with before, whether it is previous clients, beta clients, family and friends, or even past bosses from past jobs you had or past managers. Anyone that can vouch for your hard work and your work ethic and everything like that. I would ask for testimonials. This is something you can do at the very bottom of your profile and all you need is the person's email and their LinkedIn. So go ahead and do that. And then you say, my approach to web scraping involves using open source tools in combination with writing HTML scripts to pull data from targeted websites. This method is advantage, uh, uh, advantage, advantages, that's as good as it's gonna get, because it ensures that the scraping process is accurate and fast. And then that's how it ends. I think it ends pretty abruptly. Abruptly, oh, I can't English today. Oh my God. But I do like that you included here how you work. It kind of gives them proof that you are not just applying to a random job, that you actually know your stuff and you know how to do what they need to be done. So that's interesting. I would probably like to see a question, you asking the client a question that will help you understand their business a little bit better or understand the scope of work. And I would end with some Thing, like a call to action, like inviting them to get on a call with you or inviting them to message you with any questions they have. Anything like that. This proposal isn't too bad. And like I say in every single episode, it just needs a little bit of tweaking to make it perfect. Chef's kiss. Start with a hook that makes them want to click, put yourself in a client's shoes, read your proposal one more time and check if you would click on it, if you were the client, 
then the rest is good. Don't include this paragraph, don't include anything at all that's irrelevant or a given. And what a call to action because the rest is pretty good. So yeah, I hope you implement these things and that you can get a client on Upwork soon. Let me know how that goes for you. Now, if you too want your proposal to be reviewed right here on the channel, I'll have the link right below as I do in every single one of these videos. It's super simple to submit your proposal. It's just a Google form. You just upload a screenshot like this one and I'll review it in a future video for you. It's first come first serve. So submit yours today and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Now, in the meantime, check out the rest of the playlist because I've done a lot of these videos and I don't want you to continue submitting proposals that don't implement these tips and tricks. So go check out the rest of the playlist and send me your proposal for review and I'll see you next time. Bye!